I'm here with my friend Tiffany today. Hi. We went to Santa Cruz together and she's also pre-dental. So it's really nice having her here today so we can talk about our experiences. So she did a post -bac program at CSU East Bay. Mm -hmm. And she's going to tell us a little bit about it. It's um, geared for people who need academic enhancers, so boosting up your GPA or career changers um, if you just suddenly found out that you want to go into the health field. It's, it might take more than one to two years if you're a career changer, but it's a good program to consider and you get a certification out of it, but we'll talk about that later. So post-bac isn't only for pre-med students? No. It, the school, there are programs that offer it for pre-dense, pre-optometry. Can you tell us a little bit about where they're located? These yeah. These programs so, are for pre-dense specifically. Okay, okay. so um, I applied actually to quite a few. There's, in California, there I know of, ooh, quite a handful. There's one at UCLA, but I think they only accept like two people, which is kind of exclusive. Oh, yeah. But... Fullerton has one, CSU Fullerton for people in SoCal. See, I'm at the one at CSU East Bay, and SF State has one, but I don't know if it's specifically for um, pre-dense. And then out of state, there's Northeastern in Boston. UPenn also has one, and Cornell as well. So I'm sure there's more out there, but those are the ones that I looked into. How long is a post -bac program? It's about a year or two long, depending on where you are and what your application looks like. Um, if you go for career changer, it might take a few more years. If you go just to, for GPA booster, you might be in and out in a year or two. And then for a fifth year, it's basically just doing more schooling at your undergrad university. So you kind of have to plan it out in a way that the school doesn't kick you out because you have to have some requirements left so you can stay a fifth year. So your advisor allows you to stay a fifth year. So if you plan it out to stay an extra year, then it's a year as well. Or you can also just stay a quarter or two quarters, but the whole point of it is to take more classes so you can raise your GPA. Would you be earning a degree by completing a post -bac? So for post -bacs, you actually just get a certification. You don't get a whole nother degree like the master programs offer. For a fifth year, it's just doing more schooling. You can choose to do a dual degree, so you can get another degree if you choose, or you can just take more classes and just get your one degree. So it's really up to you. It's just more undergrad. Perks. What are the perks of doing a post -bac program? The school that I'm going to is CSU East Bay, which is located in Hayward. I guess that's a perk because there's absolutely nothing to do in Hayward, in my opinion. And so you're really focused. Um, you basically only study. <laughs> <laughs> and so a few perks include just the class size. Undergrad classes were like 200 people or more. Yeah, huge. So what? that would probably be a downside of doing a fifth year. It's the same. The classes are still big. Your professor's really far away. It's hard to get to know your professor. So unlike lecture halls, we're in class sizes of about 25 students. That's one perk. Everyone around you is just as focused. Everyone is there for pre-health career goals, I guess. You're, there's a lot less distractions. You have an older group of students. What else? Oh, you have advisors, so they're pre-health advisors. Um, some universities don't offer a pre-dental advisor. I know UC Santa Cruz, we didn't have one, mm -hmm. but at CSU East Bay, there's about three to four advisors for all of the pre-health fields. You can always ask them for advice. And there's a good amount of students who have been through the program and have gone through to dental school. So there's also that network group. Oh, if you get financial aid, you can get financial aid for a fifth year if you still have requirements left. That is a perk. So I didn't pay too much for my fifth year, and I felt like it was a money saver, and I treated it as a post -bac. Definitely. For financial reasons, um, post -bac is quite expensive, so it's definitely more of a commitment in the financial side of things. Is there an application process? 
Yes, so there is an application um, for CSU East Bay. It was pretty laid back when I applied. Um, I started in the winter, so they offer two cycles in the fall or the winter. Um, I decided to take about six months off and then start in the winter after I graduated at Santa Cruz. Other schools, I know there's it's just a short application process. Some require letters of rec and whatnot. For the one in San Francisco, the UCSF one, you definitely need letters of rec, right? Oh, yeah. Do they interview? Did you have to interview? I've heard that there is an interview process uh, for the post back at UCSF. It's much smaller and way more competitive, but um, it's a more constructed program. And then to do a fifth year, there's no application. You just have to talk to your advisor and make sure that you're on the right track to graduate and they have to approve it. What will you get out of a post back and what can you get out of a fifth year? So a post back, hopefully the goal is to get into the professional school of your choice. Um, and what you get out of it, like I've mentioned, is just smaller class sizes. So you know your professors, you know your advisors. <laughs> During my fifth year, I was really involved with the pre-dental society. So I feel like I got a lot out of doing a fifth year at UC Santa Cruz. I still treated it like a post -bac, so my goal for that year was to do really well in my classes. Okay, thank you. I hope this was very helpful. I'm happy Tiffany was able to be here to do this video with me. Good luck on the application cycle, and if you're thinking about applying to post -bac programs, do it. There's no one correct way to get to dental school. There's many routes you can take. And just believe in yourself. Yay! Bye! Bye. Life's what you make it. <laughs>